Hello and welcome back. I'm Lord Ravenwork. This is XCOM Enemy Within. First thing I'd like to mention, I've decided I want to get back down to five episodes a week. And since I'm doing one episode of Civ 5 and three of CK2, that means I'll only be doing one episode of XCOM a week from now on. But I still want to play as much as I have been doing in the past because I need to finish this game up quickly for the release of the next XCOM game. So that means this episode and all future episodes will be really long. So be prepared for that to people who watch this series. I mean it's not like you have to watch it all at once anyways. This is YouTube. You can watch it anytime you like. Okay. So I just finished the alien base assault with no casualties and an alien captive. There's no way the aliens could have anticipated this outcome. We've crippled their entire support network. Of course this isn't the end. We have no choice now but to take it further. We have to find their remaining ships and finish what they started. Exactly. So first of all we have some autopsies to complete and also we need to interrogate the sectoid commander. Let's do that first. The specimen has a uniquely defined cellular structure within its brain, augmented by a series of advanced cybernetic implants that must have been ingrained shortly after its birth. Due to the unusual abilities exhibited by this captive in the field, we've had to be particularly cautious during the interrogation process. Evidence of a telekinetic power, unlike anything previously recorded in known science, has left some members of the research team unwilling to approach the subject. We were met with limited success in retrieving new information directly from the captive, although we have come to understand how the captive was able to interact with the mysterious device we found within the alien base. We've also had time to further analyze the modules implanted in the subject's body, which will likely lead to a number of unexpected advances. So now we can build the psionic labs, but first we have some autopsies to do. Sectoid commander autopsy, because nobody ever survives the interrogations. It's funny. Wait, I think we put a person in the interrogation earlier. Remember that exalt operative that we extracted from a convoy raid in France? That was forever ago. Anyways, autopsy. This is an extremely dangerous species, Commander. Although not physically intimidating, the psionic power that this creature wields is perhaps the greatest threat we've encountered so far. Yep. So it's a decoy. And we get a gene mod. Do I have a genetics lab? I don't think I built one yet. This unit appears to be a drone, which is similar to the military drones we are familiar with. This particular example seems to have the ability to repair damaged equipment. Dr. Shen and I believe it should be possible to capture and repurpose these for our own use in the field. to recover the suit's central core, although the pilot's corpse also survived intact. The armor itself is quite interesting. The design is highly responsive while still providing extraordinary strength. Yep. Okay, so 
Now that all that is done in the first five minutes of the video, we should get on to a mission. Now, since it is a new month, I think it would be a good idea for us to do an intel scan and start. Intel scan complete. No new exalt cells located. Oh. Got it. Guess I did that a bit early. I was going to do a new covert operation, but I guess we're just going to have to wait on that. Our cyber suits have faced the trials of battle and were proven effective. As you continue to deploy our mech troopers, they will grow more accustomed to the suits. And if fortune is with us, help put an end to this conflict. Yeah, the mech troopers are honestly pretty cool. Okay, now... I would kind of like the gene... We don't have enough power to start building shit, though. I guess... Well, okay, let's see. We could upgrade our mech. I think we can do that now. Or no. No, can't upgrade it yet. Need more tech. But anyways, mission control. Let's just wait for our mission to show up. Got some upcoming events. Heavy weapons platform project is complete. Can we get a new project? In the foundry. Anything particularly good here? How about the alien grenades? Because that'll be... The foundry is already warmed up. I'll make sure to notify you as soon as production is finished. That'll be a pretty useful thing to, uh... Research, we get more powerful grenades. Contact detected. UFO over Brazil? Scramble our interceptors. Hurry up, Raven 3. Bangs out. Nearing strike rate. Ooh, that's a big one. I got my finger on the abort button, but luckily we took it down easily enough. With seven seconds remaining, that's one downed UFO. Let's send Sky Ranger. And who do we want to send? Well, this is a pretty good team, but let's see if we can get a uh, rookie on the team. So, Belotus, you're off temporarily. And someone who could use a promotion. Um. Ooh, this is tough. Tough choice. But we could use another assault. So how about Turin? Let's make items available and give Turin carapace armor. I should get another one of those sh scatter lasers. Uh, respirator implant. Uh, for now, laser rifle will do just fine. And launch mission! Operation Cryptic Fist. Where do they come up with these names? So, we're on the ground. 
Strike team is awaiting your orders. Affirmative, Big Sky. Strike one is free to engage hostile targets at the crash site. We're on the ground near an alien crash. There's barriers here and here, which means we're heading in this general direction. Now, can we see any meld canisters in the fog? I'm not seeing any. So, we're going in fairly blind. Uh, point man, head forward. Then we want... Pretty much everyone else moving forward. You go pretty far forward, see what you can see. So far, no contact. I think we'll be fine. Still no dashing, please. Okay, Shepard, I'm gonna send you further forward. Okay, now we can see some of the meld. And with seven turns on it. Plenty of time to collect it. It still worries me that we're making no contact with the enemy. I mean, naturally, that's something that should be worrying. Where are they? Marchando. But of course I'll show up eventually. Я пошла. I feel like my breathing is pretty heavy, which means it'll probably show up very prominently on the recording, so... If you hear me breathing heavily, I'm sorry, I'm a bit winded for some reason. I've barely gotten up off the couch today. Unidentified target near although actually I got a new couch, although it's not new, it's really old. It's actually older than the last one, but the last one was ruined by me sitting on it too much. Hmm, let's not go all the way, but Position head control. here. Well, finally, contact! What was taking you guys so long? We got two 59s, and we want to definitely take out some of these guys. Alexander, uh, is line of sight blocked for you? Where are you? You're here. Line of sight is definitely blocked. There is a huge obstruction. I can see it very clearly. Can we get anyone else to take more shots? Uh, if we can't get a shot with Prusus, we're not getting a shot with anyone. We could at least get some of our people into position to start taking shots. Next turn, but only Shepard gets to shoot this turn. Please kill him. Yeah, that's not good. Because now you're going to get shot three times. And they're probably going to hit. Each time. Be 
Because Thin Men are notoriously good shots, and thus... I don't know if your chassis can take that kind of punishment. And... Okay, good. That was a miss. Enemy fire here. And the third one did... Pretty sparse damage. And... Taking fire over here. That was also a miss. Okay. So Alexander now has a shot with an 85% chance. And the fact that he's a sniper, I say that... Pretty good chance of a kill. Right? Good, there's one problem remedied. Okay, now, chances are at 49 and 69. Let's see about flanking. Yes, Commander. Wait, what the fuck?! That's not where I clicked! Uh-oh. This is... not good. Okay. You have a shot... 33 and 53. What about grenade? Can you hit either with a grenade? No? Well then I guess take the stronger shot. Okay, Dobri, uh, I guess you're up next. Okay, okay, that is within workable parameters. Now let's move the others forward. <laughs> but he's still shooting. Yeah. Okay, well... <coughs> what type of shot do you have? 69? Uh, whatever, give it a shot. Good! Ammo out. Target destroyed. That's good. Okay, now... Prusus? Get me that meld. I want a second... A second mech trooper, and it's probably going to be Nelly, because she died very on in the Jewish Aztec series, and I like to... and I'd like to pretend like we're rebuilding her, like in that movie, uh, what the hell is it called? I didn't even watch it. Uh, Billion Dollar Man or something. We can rebuild her. They, uh, they parody it a lot on TV shows, so I'm familiar with the concept. Still haven't watched it, though, so... I probably should. If it gets parodied that much, it must, uh, be at the very least culturally significant. And I like watching movies that are culturally significant. Okay. Now, we 
need to bring you back within healing range. Moving to position. So get over by your uh, ally, Dobre. Weapon systems ready. Reload. Dobre, you heal her. And Aroa, keep moving forward. Voy hacia ese lugar. Por aquí tengo algo. Ah, wondering when these guys would be taking a move. We need to get people within range to uh, cover her. I think you'll be okay, Alexander. And Prusus, I would like you heading in the direction of over here, Aziz. And Overwatch. And let's just be a bit patient for the Seekers to show up. I doubt they'll keep me waiting for very long. Okay. You, Shepard, are now down only one health point, so I'm not going to heal you again. Now. now, I would still like to move my troops forward a bit, but I don't want to wake up any more aliens before we deal with the whole Seeker situation. Ah, oh, let's risk it. Not like it's that bad if we have to deal with more aliens. We can probably handle them, I just prefer not to have to worry about that. And come on, Seekers! And that is boom. Okay. Once again, pretty much just everyone Overwatch. Because I think the other one's close behind. Okay, well, let's still move forward a little bit. Can't be very many enemies left. This is a, a a spaceship crash, after all. Oh, of course. Of course, he goes for the sniper. But luckily, I didn't move my troops too far away. Sniper's okay, and now it's safe to trigger more enemies. We won't have to deal with the Outsider anymore, by the way, after you take out the alien base, because you have to keep in mind that the Outsider is being controlled by the Sectoid Commander in the alien base. So once you capture the alien base, take out the Sectoid Commander and recover the alien device, no more Outsiders. Okay, let's move everyone forward if possible. There's not a lot of cover, so some of our people are going to need to be out in the open next turn. But there aren't any aliens triggered at the moment, so I think that my assaults will be okay. They're assaults anyways, so they're probably not going to be in too big a trouble. Dobre... Mm. I'm gonna have him reload, so... Reload. And everyone else... Overwatch. Aliens, where are you? 
Okay, lost the other meld. We were taking a bit too long on that. Where is it anyways? Well, okay. There's a spaceship. And there's the edge of the map, so we should just move that aways. There'll probably be more enemies inside the spaceship. Prusus, this is a good spot for you. And you actually should reload, because you're low on ammo. Those damned heavy lasers only hold, like, three rounds. Or three turns worth of shooting, rather, because he does fire off multiple discharges every time you have him shoot. So let's move everyone except for the sniper forward. And all we need to do at this point is figure out where the fuck the rest of the aliens are. On the move. Hello? Anyone? No one? Come on, there's gotta be someone. I'm, I'm gonna start dashing my people, because there's no one in the vicinity. We've basically cleared the area as far as determining whether there are any enemies for us to locate. We'll be fine! And I just want to get the troops into position to kill them when we do find them. Because, oh my god, this is taking forever. I mean, it's not like I have all... Ah, there is the other meld. We might have been able to reach it if it weren't for the fact that we had to deal with those... Seekers. Could have just taken the hit. It's not like they do much damage anyways. And... Next turn. And surprise, surprise, they're inside this ship. Okay, you're probably not going to get any more kills, Alexandar. Which, you know, is alright. You're a pretty accomplished soldier. You are Colonel Rank. Honestly, you're the guy whom we should be trying not to let get any more kills. Just because it's a waste of potential promotions. Shepard, get inside. I want to see what's in here. No contact? Seriously, what the hell? Okay, you get inside. You'll be fine there, Alexandar. You should overwatch. You get in here and overwatch. Um... Dobre here and Overwatch and the last one, Aroa get inside the damned spaceship You know, there's a good chance that this alien could be outside the spaceship, but just on the other side. On Overwatch. Um, but, whatever, I'd still like to send Shepard forward first, since she's the toughest. Hello, aliens! 
Oh, for the love of fuck, where the hell are you? I'm gonna just have to fast forward until we find them. So... About fucking time. Okay, so we have two alien commanders. These are... Incredibly dangerous enemies! So... The question is... Well, okay, how much does the kinetic strike module do again? Cause... I'd be really happy if I could get a one-hit kill with it. Okay, well... You know what I think? It would be a good idea... for us to get into the position... where if they try to move on us, they die pretty fucking quickly. Hmm, this is a tough call, but I'm gonna pull Flora's back and And, yeah, Shepard, you should overwatch. Yeah, I... I don't care what's going on with you anymore, Alexandar. Let's just... Pop over here. Open the door. Knock, knock! There you are, buddy! Old buddy, old pal! Okay, Aroa, head back here! I feel a bit more comfortable and I'd like to see where they are. Hmm. There's still that guy there. We don't know where the other one's gone off to. But let's see. What if I place Shepard over here for the kinetic strike? Actually, that sounds like it could go pretty badly, but can you kill him in one shot? Maybe. Depends on the crit chance. Or the crit damage. It's possible. I don't like the odds, though. Damn! That did a lot of damage, but we still need to finish him off. And I really want to use a kinetic strike module, so... Oh, he was overwatching? Well, okay, whatever. Not like I was scared of his gun anyways. Gun ain't the scary part about him. Oh yeah, that would have totally been a one-hit kill if I had used it. But at least now, we know where the other one is. We might be able to take him alive, get his gun, instead of just weapon fragments like we normally do. Wait, where... Weird. Now, you have a pretty much a 50% chance to kill him, to shoot him. Hit him, you probably won't kill. Naturally. Well, we just need to get everyone into position to, uh... help kill this guy. 
and everyone who doesn't have a shot overwatch. Oh, that's good, because Shepard has pretty low will. And tell me, does Kinetic Strike have a cooldown? Because I don't think it does. And let's just make sure that we don't hit, hurt our guys in doing this. Engaging in close combat. Chalk up another one. <laughs> Welp! That's a mission completed by punching two of the alien leaders to death. And that is pretty much all the time I have for this episode. Excellent work, Commander. I'm impressed you were able to recover so much of the melt substance without any casualties. Mm -hmm. So I'll pretty much just upgrade these guys. Let's see, the last guy who reached there I gave dense smoke. So I'm going to do combat drugs instead, because, yeah, it's not like it's that big a deal. Okay, now, do we want jump to inaccessible heights, or, oh, one for all, I love this one. Whenever you have to run through a field with no cover, no worries, your mech trooper is your cover. So, that's all the time I have for this episode. And until next time, I am Lord Ravenwork, this has been great, and I will see you all later. Wait, I just remembered. I wanted to augment another soldier. Nelly. We can rebuild her. Once the required amputations have been completed, the engineering team will begin grafting the cybersuit interfaces onto the volunteers' remaining bone structure. Beautiful. So, until next time, I am Lord Ravenwork, this has been great, and I will see you all later. Bye!